Structure from motion algorithms are very powerful and can produce beautiful reconstructions from a collection of photographs of a scene. To do this, they must first compute correspondences between pairs of input images to determine if they view the same part of the scene. This correspondence information is encoded in a matching graph, where every image is represented as a vertex. Edges correspond to pairs of images that have been matched, or geometrically verified, in this way. These edges are used in the second stage by the reconstruction algorithm to compute the final geometry and solve for the camera positions. Given a large set of images, constructing the matching graph of a scene can be expensive, because a graph with n vertices would have n squared minus n over two possible edges. However, in reality, the matching graph of a scene would only have a small percentage of actual valid edges. A brute force algorithm would have to test every edge to find which ones are geometrically verified. However, this order n squared algorithm becomes prohibitive as the size of the data set grows larger. This effect is exacerbated by the fact that larger data sets tend to have sparser matching graphs, and so as n grows, the percentage of valid edges often decreases. Unlike previous approaches which attempt to find a minimal set of matches to produce good SFM reconstruction, the goal of this work is to find as many good matches as efficiently as possible. Our key observation is that good priors can make the matching process much more efficient. Specifically, we find two priors that help with predicting potential edges, which are integrated into an algorithm we call graph match. Inspired by the patch match algorithm used in image processing, graph match is also an iterative algorithm with two stages. First, in our sampling stage, we use an appearance-based prior computed from the Fisher vectors of images to guide us towards edges in the graph that are more likely to be valid. This stage essentially prioritizes the matching of images that have similar visual appearance, and thus are more likely to observe the same part of the scene. This gives us a significant advantage over simply selecting the edges in random order. Second, for a propagation stage, we observe that if vertices A and B share an edge, then the neighbors of B are more likely to share an edge with A. The reason for this is that in an SFM application, images that are geometrically verified tend to be spatially correlated with each other, and therefore tend to also share content with other images that are geometrically verified with their neighbors. We use this fact to help us propagate potential matches that are more likely to represent valid edges. The proposed sample and propagate algorithm of graph match is extremely efficient at finding edges in the matching graph, even when compared to state-of-the-art algorithms such as vocabulary trees or the query expansion approach of the building Brome in a day method presented by Agarwal et al. The vocabulary tree method only exploits appearance-based similarity for computing matches, so it produces a graph that is visibly less dense. The system presented in the Building Brome in a Day paper by Agarwal et al. proposes a similar idea to our propagate step, which they call query expansion. Like our method, they propagate potential edge queries from matches they have already found. However, they propose to repeatedly apply query expansion, which can suffer from what's called drift, which means that the edges tested are gradually less and less likely to produce good matches. Our method, on the other hand, leverages two informative priors in an iterative fashion. Unlike the building Rome in a day system, we do not need the expensive step of building a vocabulary tree, since we rely on Fisher vectors to select potential matches. Furthermore, rather than simply applying propagation repeatedly, we iterate propagation queries with sample queries. This prevents drift and results in a method that can efficiently identify which edges are most likely to produce valid matches and avoid testing edges which are unlikely to produce them. We can see the improvement in efficiency when we compare three methods against the proposed graph match approach for various scenes. Here, efficiency is measured by dividing the number of valid edges found by the total number of edges tested, which dominates the time for constructing the graph. We can see that our algorithm is more than twice as efficient as the state-of-the-art approach of building Rome in a day. This increased efficiency allows us to rapidly compute the matching graphs for large data sets, such as the ones shown here. Matching the images for these datasets would take significantly longer using other approaches.